Hey guys, happy new year. It is 2017. <clears throat> I'm actually filming this today, first day of 2017. It's 1.46 in the afternoon. Um, <clears throat> I woke up f a few hours ago, yeah. Um, I went to bed at like 4 a.m. this morning just because we had friends over and so I slept pretty late. I did, I just wanted to make this video just starting off my new year. Um, it's just going to be a one take thing. I, I was going to do a live video just so I didn't have to like, you know, edit anything or add anything to it um but i decided i'm just gonna film it i'm gonna edit it and i'm gonna post it today so you guys are seeing this today the first day of 2017 um i wanted to make this video and i think i'm gonna call it 2016 versus 2017 um i'm just gonna talk about things in 2016 that you know happened and how 2016 was all around and how 2017 is going to be like for me um 20 starting with 2016 2016 wasn't one of my worst years um i think it was my worst year financially as far as growth as far as growth and self-empowerment and all that i actually think aside from having financial troubles 2016 was the year for me where i kind of had that like aha moment of who i am and who i want to be and just the type of person i am you know <clears throat> we grow so much every single day um you know when you're when you're a teenager you're told all the time that how you live your life in high school and how you are as a teenager you know it's your time to grow and I feel like that's how everyone's life is it has nothing to do with just that small amount of time um, when you were a teenager I think still now me being 26 I feel like you know things are changing every day and I'm growing every single day <coughs> excuse me Um, and that's how 2016 was for me. I found out, you know, that having a curvy body is totally fine. It's totally fine, guys. One of the most popular models this year came out and she was on the cover of a magazine because she... They, society finally realized that being a bigger woman or being a bigger person is fine there's nothing wrong with it um i totally embrace the fact that i am you know i've gained a lot of weight within the past few years 2016 i've gained probably like 10 pounds um and that happens from time to time with me not that i'm you know completely okay with the fact that the food that I eat affects me um, but well we'll talk about later on and how 2017 is gonna be for me with my weight and all that um, let's go back to you know finding out who I am in 2016 um, so many things have happened situations happen it makes us bigger better stronger people um, I think that 2016 was definitely that year for me where I realized, you know, this is the type of person I am. This is who I want to be and how I, how do I treat people? How do I treat myself? Um, it was a bit of a bitchy year for me because I kind of had that mindset where I think, I think if you've lived in New York for so long, you start to get in the mindset where everybody is just a bitch. Like everybody is just super mean and you shouldn't care what anybody says and that everyone it doesn't matter and 
it has, you know, it has nothing to do with the New York mindset. I think that as you get older, you start to realize that it doesn't matter. You know, that's one thing I did realize is that I spent so much time, my whole entire life, caring about what other people thought what other people had to say about me or what other people had to say about anything I say, their opinions. It doesn't matter. You know, you you have friends and hopefully your friends are good enough to you where they shouldn't be putting you down. And, you know, and if you do have friends who are like that, they shouldn't be your friends. Um, you know, Friends do come and go, and I say this all the time, and, you know, I have very, very few people in my life whom I call my friend, because like I said, I've had bad experiences, and I actually, I just don't trust friends, and once they do start to become that friend to you, when you start to trust them, the trust kind of goes away, because they end up doing something stupid, or, you know, just having people in your life that support you and care about you is important. Um, don't let anyone tell you how to live your life. There are so many people out there, so many people out there who are very opinionated um, and they feel the need to have to help you, you know, figure out your problems and do you. You know, that's what 2016 was about for me is I finally just gave up on people because, like I said, there are very few people whom I trust and I don't have a lot of friends because I would rather not have a lot of friends because friends are liars. Friends are completely just, like, just bad experiences all around for me and, you know, I'm a very good person. I try to be a very good person, but I feel like people aren't good people. And those people who are like that, those friends who are like that, don't know who they are. And friends to them is just a word. A friend to me just isn't a word. It's someone. It's something. It's who you are to me. It's who you are in my life. And if you're not, you know gonna be a true friend you're not gonna be in my life that's that's just how it's gonna work you know that's how it was in 2016 and that's how it's gonna be in 2017 um, but yeah finding me now I know what kind of person I am who I want to become and I'm pretty much there um, you know career wise everything is still up in the air 2016 was kind of like a blur I went up and down and up and down with almost the same company and you know I'm just trying to figure out if I still want to stay in the industry um, in the restaurant industry and I I I don't know I really don't know I don't know if I'm gonna be going into that world this year um, I, I, I love nightlife I love all of that but it's just for the past few years you know I've gained some really bad feet problems and I've just and of course my weight is all part of it as well and I completely know that but it's just really difficult for me to be running around you know like I used to and stuff like that so we will see um so yeah 2016 is over and I'm so excited because 2017 is a whole new year. It's a whole new year of possibilities and I'm just gonna share with you guys a few of my 2017. I don't like to call them resol um, resolutions. I don't like to really call them goals um, because, because goals are something that you reach towards and I, I don't want to reach towards these goals. I want to do them. Um, I'm going to execute these things in 2017 and hopefully hopefully it's going to be a great great year um, this is going to be a year of a lot of changes for me um, <clears throat> I like change for those of you who don't know me 
I embrace change. I love change. Um, it's just, I love it. I don't have a problem with it at all whatsoever. Um, so 2017, one of the things that I'm going to focus on is you guys, is YouTube. Um, no, I don't have a lot of followers right now. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't eat like some of my friends aren't even subscribed to me. So it is what it is, but I really want to focus on, you know, putting my life, you know, out there and just focusing on YouTube because I love it. I love it so much. And in the past few years that I said I was going to do YouTube, it's just been really difficult because I just haven't had the time. I've just been working so much and, but I need to stop saying that excuse and just do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on YouTube. I'm going to focus on you guys. Um, you know, and like I said, I was going to daily vlog if, I mean, let's be real. There are going to be days where I don't do anything, which is why I haven't posted anything in a day or two, because if I'm not doing anything, I feel like there's no need for me to vlog. But I realize that those days where I don't put anything up, I should be maybe filming a video for you guys. Just making sure it's still recording, but sometimes it does that. I don't know, it's weird. Um, yes, that's what I'm going to work on. YouTube, 2017. I will film as much as I can. I will post videos as much as I can. Um, you know, w with a minimum of at least four videos a week and if I am gonna post a video up every day one week I'll do that if I don't post videos every single day the next week that's life I can't really commit I don't want to commit myself to daily vlogging because I've failed in the past so I'm gonna vlog as much as I can that's that um, the next thing that I'm you know planning on doing is I really want to get my finances in order I really want to start saving money you know for the future and not just for the future as in future future but within the next few months future um, planning on becoming debt-free planning on you know fixing my license I really want to get my license back I didn't do anything bad it's just pay your tickets people pay them because they will screw you over and put you in collections and you have to pay a lot of money. So pay your tickets, folks, okay? Um, yeah, I have to pay off a ticket and I would get my license back. Um, you know, just plans like that that I just want to do this year. And because I keep putting it aside. And the more and more you forget every single day, the more and more I get pushed. It gets pushed off and I don't want to push anything off anymore. Um... One major thing that I would like to happen this year is I am planning on moving. Um, if it doesn't work out that way, then it doesn't work out that way. It's it's not, you know, it's one of my priorities, but it's not the biggest priority because, of course, financially, you have to be financially stable and able to move anywhere. I've learned that from the past. Um, Always be financially stable when you move. Always have backup. Always, 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 always. Um, I am planning on moving back to California. I don't know if it's going to be this summer. I don't know if it's going to be in the winter time. I don't know. I am hoping for the summertime. Um, we will see how it goes. It's just based on a lot of things. So. That's one of my priorities this year. It's not the biggest, but it's something that I would like to do. Either I move back to California and move um, to LA, or I move to a different state. I don't know yet. Options, you know, I'm young, I'm not attached to anything or anyone, and I feel like since I have no large priorities like that, I can live and I can live freely and that's just how I want 2017 to be full of positivity um, full of love and all of that positive thoughts all the time all the time and that's just how I am already as a person but I want 2017 to be even better um, one of the things that I'm doing this year is if you are not worth my time 
if you are not worth my time because you're a shitty friend, if you are not worth my time because you're a liar, if you are not worth my time because just a bunch of other things, so many things I could say, you're not going to be worth my time. And I, I don't want to waste my time this year on people who don't matter, people who are awful, people who just are so negative and put you down and people who just don't have the same values as I do. Um, it's really hard to find friends like that and you know I just I'm the type of person who just doesn't like to waste my time with people who aren't worth it, with people who are just so naively negative and just a bunch of other stuff that I can't even think of right now but that's one of the things this year is I will be cutting those people out of my life because I don't have time for it and I don't want to have time for it. It's just, that's one of my priorities this year. One last thing that I'm going to be focusing on this year um, out of the many things that I have. Um, everybody says this every year, you know, about their health and their weight and all that. Um, like I said earlier, um, 2016 was kind of the year where I realized, you know, being overweight and being curvy, um, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, body positivity all the way, and I'm all for that, okay? This, this year, I really want to focus on putting only good things into my body. Um, you know, it's just, it is hard, especially, you know, when you don't have a lot of money and you're not financially stable and being able to buy healthy things sometimes just isn't doable. And out of all people, I totally understand that. Um, but I really want to make this year about not even about losing weight, you know, not even about losing weight. This is just about putting things into my body that are worth it putting things in my body that's only going to do good things and not make me feel like crap. Um, just all around good things and that is the goal, you know, to try and completely erase, you know, all the bad things that I eat. Fast food, that's gotta go. Um, just really bad things. I have really bad eating habits and one of the things I am going to fix this year are my eating habits. It's going to be really hard for me because I have really, really bad eating habits. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I'm going to work on this year. But yeah, this I think this video was long enough. That is my 2016 versus 2017. I'm so excited um, to be filming some more and just getting it done, getting things done, guys. Let's make 2017 our year where we change as people and change our lives only for the better and find out who we really are as a person and how we want to be for the rest of our lives because that's really what's important sending lots of positivity and love to you guys thank you so much if you haven't yet subscribed subscribe hit that like button i'll see you guys next time bye